Hello, everybody. It's Justin, and this is more Sonic Mania. This thing plays so well. It's very good. It's very good. Anyway, I'm gonna try to keep this one short and sweet because I know I've been going on for a while now. But the Lord is saying today, if I'm hearing correctly, to find the right answers to the right questions. Find the right answers to the right questions, and I ponder what that means. And I think that it goes back to treating the symptom rather than finding the cure. Treating the symptom rather than finding the cure. So for example, a person might say, well, what's causing, what's causing violence in the black community? For example, I'm going to use that example because, you know, I'm black and there's violence in the black community. Um, <laughs> you might want to say, you could say that it's, it's because of the social economic gap. It's because of the domineering parts of the government that have strategically sabotaged black Americans for the past however many decades. You could say a lot of things. You could say a lot of things about that. But is that really the right question? If I were to stop black violence, would there still be violence? Black on black violence would still be violent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? How come... How come, you know, you look at some parts of, you, you see racism everywhere, you know? I mean, you had the white people hating on white people. You had the Irish hating on the, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're both white. Like, what's the problem here? What's the problem? And I remember seeing a sign that said, no dogs, blacks, or Irish. And I was like, oh, okay, these are the black, white people. Um... <laughs> I mean, there's. I mean, well, this is. This will sound like an insulting thing. I don't mean it to be that way. But for most people, most people couldn't tell the differences between someone who's Korean and Chinese and uh, Japanese. You know, I mean, what well, Japanese you can really, really kind of tell. But you know, there's there's some subtle differences uh, that are in there. So to most Americans, wouldn't be able to tell too much difference. But there's like hatred <laughs> between some people in those groups. So, does, 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 you know, this is a thing that we do. Ultimately, ultimately, problem is sin. God said, don't do this, and you did it. You know, as an individual, that person chose to do this. Why? Because they didn't believe what God was saying about eternal punishment, about his serving grace, about any of that stuff. So, I could treat the symptom of black on black violence and say that, and, blame, and say, look at this, and look at that, and look at that, and look at that, and they all be, have some evidence to it. But, doesn't trace it back to the root of it. The very, very root of it all is gonna be sin. So, really, what are the aspects and what are the things that you can do in order to curb sin in your life? I mean, ultimately, it's going to start at home. That's that's the best. That's the best thing that you got is two people watching over you to make sure that they raise you not in a way that you think it's going to be great to them, to themselves, or what they want you to be, but ultimately to understanding things like authority, understanding things like not authority is it abuse of authority i use the a word people are like oh no authority is like no authority does not have to be a bad thing <laughs> it does not have to be a bad thing people abuse authority abuse of authority is a bad thing but authority is giving you direction and boundary in your life so that you know where the doggone boundaries are so you can color inside the lines and make a pretty picture you start coloring inside the lines you got a mess so it's not a bad thing to have authority or to display authority but Going back to this that system, saying that, okay, 
Here's what you need to do because here's what I need to train you to understand that there are going to be people over you and that they're trying to help you. Not all of them are going to try to help you, but by and large, most people are going to try to help you and guide you towards something. So respect your teachers, respect your elders, things like that, you know, because they know more than you. You're just like Sway. You ain't got all the answers. So anyway, that is something that's critical. It's a critical thing. So I'm just using that as an example. There's many, many examples out there that we could be using. And um, again, I didn't mean to offend anybody by saying that <laughs> different nationalities look alike. Um, or look, but I'm just using that as something to where somebody could, in, a, in, a, in an anecdotal kind of way that somebody could, who didn't know any better, didn't see any better, would see the subtle differences be like, well, what's the big deal? You know, if it's talking about race or look or whatever. So... Again, as people of God, we have got to start treating the actual, finding the actual cure, and to stop beating around the bush and treating the symptoms. You are not ahead in life because you are not believing in something that God is showing you. He is showing you something. He is showing you a principle. He is showing something to you. And that is hard to deal with. I did everything right. They did this to me. They did that. Ain't going to be no judgment day where God's going to be at the throne and he's going to say, how come, you didn't do, how come you didn't do what I asked you to do? How come you didn't follow the, the instructions that I, wanted to, that I gave you for life? Why didn't you do those things? Well, so-and-so talked about me. Do you think that conversation is going to happen? I mean, you Jesus had the best excuse in the world not to do what he had to go through. <laughs> you know? He's going to be horribly maimed and broken and all that other stuff, you know? I mean, he knew that ahead of the, ahead of the game. And as Christians being Christ-like, that's what people call us, that, that excuse ain't... That dog won't hunt on Judgment Day. So, it's... Other people are not going to be our excuse for disobeying God. It's just not. It's just not. Our unbelief is not going to be predicated on the shoulders of somebody else. So if you're letting somebody else dig their heels into you and the so-and-so made me do this because I'm mad. Like, I'm going to miss out on God's blessing because someone did something to me like 15 years ago? Absurd. Beyond absurd. I'm going to miss my blessing at the expense of somebody else's bad judgment. Dumb. That's dumb. It's dumb. That's completely ridiculous. So, saying all that, you got to take a long, hard look at yourself sometimes and get to the cure. God likes to cure. Why do I know that? Because Jesus healed. He healed whether or not it was in the spirit or the soul or the body he is a complete savior who saves all of those things because he knows how he made us he put a spirit inside of a dirt body with a mind will and emotions that spirit soul mind will and emotions and your body and he likes to heal all that stuff so then and we see that through the example of christ so then it's time to start asking your, ourselves the hard questions am i treating the symptom of the problem the problems or am I actually finding the cure and yielding to the Holy Spirit and believing in what it is that he's saying and there's some tough beliefs out there when you don't see anything is going that's going right it is hard to believe that something can go right if you follow this thing the book of the law shall not leave your lips but you should meditate on day and night so that you are careful to do all that is written in it for you will make your way prosperous and you shall find success do you believe that? If you don't, that's your bad. You should have made it easier. What? He's in black and white. I mean, and plus the whole thing's predicated throughout the entire Bible. Well, how much more easier can it make it? So, our unbelief can cost us a lot of times. Not all the time. And he's not talking about smooth rides here. He's talking about even when it's tough. Will you still believe? Because there's plenty. I've never seen someone have an easy time who followed God. I've never seen someone have an easy time with that. Just not there. 
So, if you're waiting for things to be easy for you to follow, ain't gonna happen. Blessed to those who do not see. You know? So anyway, guys, that's my time. You can follow what God's asking you to follow because he gives you the ability to do it. To say yes and no. Try it. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Truly. Give that a shot. I promise you, God's way is better. Get to the cure of what's going on with you. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be a conversation between you and God when it's all over. Whether or not hell or whether or not heaven, but still having to explain some things. It's going to be a conversation. And you got to vet yourself and examine yourselves for that conversation one day. Again, look at the description below. You can support me on Patreon and other means as well. God bless you. God keep you. And you can do this. He is full of grace. He loves you. He doesn't want to condemn you. All right, guys. It's my time. Bye-bye. Thank you once again to my Patreon supporters. It means so much to me. Just look at them. Just look at these people. Just look at it.